I'm missing your giraffe. Oh yeah, you remember that? I do remember the Wait, I saw a okay. uh, video you posted on Instagram. What was it like? A banana? <laughs> a banana? Yeah, yes. You guys are fun to follow I'm on social absolute, media. I'm an absolute idiot. I apologize. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry, but I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Kenny's deal this season? Because based on what I've seen so far, it almost yeah. seems like he's like a little more serious and has, yeah. there's like higher stakes involved. Like he's yeah. got a relationship and sure, sure, sure. he's actually losing the prank war too, in a way. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. You know, he's getting his, he's getting a little bit of that medicine, you know, dish back to him. Um, well, I think, I think this season you get to actually see more dimensions of Kenny. You get to see more than just, like you said, the practical jokester. Um, you get to see, Whoops, sorry. You get to see um, you get to see the human being a bit more. You know, last time you got to see the good time guy. You got to see you know that sort of stuff. But you also get to see Kenny be good at his, great at his job, right? All that humor still has to be grounded in like a seasoned nurse who knows what he's doing in an ER, knows his way around it, is responsible, and you know and supports his doctors, right? Takes care of his patients, right? Then the, the funny, it's it's more um, it's more fulfilling for me, funny to me, you know. You still got that feeling though, a little bit season one. Like you just knew that that night shift would not operate on a certain level if he wasn't there, kind okay, of fair enough. watching out for everybody. Fair enough. Fair enough. What happens with Kenny in between season one and season two? How did he end up winning her over? Right. So you know, um, you know, Kenny had his eye on Krista. Um, the whole time, you know, obviously she's a beautiful woman, um, smart, you know, intelligent, athletic, all these, you know, ambitious, all these things that sort of has Kenny thinking, you know, cause he's not at a loss for ladies, right? He loves the ladies, you know, ladies like him, that sort of thing. Krista was interesting because it was Kenny's first time thinking about maybe trying to outkick his coverage a little bit, right? Maybe trying to, you know, reach a little bit further than what he typically reaches for and may maybe even open up a bit. Right, maybe even make himself a bit vulnerable. So there's this. Uh, he took a chance, you know. Kenny, Kenny decided to uh, to reach out. So there's there was a bit of a romantic relationship with Krista over the um, over the break that that sort of kindled up. I kind of imagine him coming up with like this magical pickup line that just <laughs> won her over. <laughs> it was after you know after uh, after work one day, uh, hung out, drinks turned into other things. It's and called, now I assume that a certain doctor is going to be a bit of a threat based on what I've seen so far it's for possible. that relationship. It's possible. Uh, Kenny's questioning. <laughs> Kenny's definitely questioning. He definitely knows there's another lion in his territory. Let's just put it like that. I would definitely describe him as another yeah, lion. You know, <laughs> another lion in his territory. <laughs> he sees that for sure. And now how about work-wise? Just like in terms of his job and his place within the night shift, is there any kind of growth Kenny can get to, like where he can achieve a new level of the job? Yeah, yeah. well, I think you'll see um, some things transpire that make Kenny start to take his job more, not more seriously. Not that he didn't, but he starts to ask himself, is he happy? Does he feel like for what he's putting out, he's being rewarded for that? You know, is the scale even on that? Kenny loves his job. He wouldn't want to be doing anything else in the world. You find out why he, we obviously found out why, you know, um, Kenny wanted to become a nurse. Um, but I think as the season progresses, you'll start to, to see um, some self-evaluation, you know, some, 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 some self-reflection. I liked that whole part where he kind of says why he became oh, yeah. a nurse. And yeah. I like the idea of seeing some football. Yeah. Night shift flag football. Like, why can't we get that? Why? I don't see why not. I'm ready. I still got it. I, I, I still, figured you I would. Still, you know, I still got that little one, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't see why not. So, how is it going with all the blood and gore? Have you seen anything this season that totally topped last season that you can't yeah, wait for the viewers the, the to say? The only thing that got me really... The only thing that got me really was, like, open intestines. There were, like, these open, moving intestines. And I was, you know... It was the first time that I like had to, I didn't have to imagine anymore. Like typically I'm imagining, oh, that's his beating heart. It's beating, it's open, and we're cutting it a bit to fix it or whatever. Uh, but these intestines were just there. <laughs> I, I think I saw a picture of that, but like the guy was just standing there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, oh, dude, yeah. Like, his stuff's going out. <laughs> just, yo, clean that up, man. Like, <laughs> 
Can you tell me a little bit about working with some of the directors? Because you guys oh, have quite yeah. the roster this year. Yeah. Um, everyone's been fantastic. Obviously, we had Eric LaSalle and David Boyd back from last year, who we loved. David's been with us since the pilot. Um, he was the DP of of our pilot episode. Um, so, you know, the camaraderie with those guys. They've, they've both done, let me see, one or two. They've done two episodes thus far. Uh, each of them has done two. Um, so, yeah, having them back... I mean, you know, because it's like family. So, and they're also like very capable directors. They come in and bring all the energy. They know us. They know what we need to sort of work on, pinpoint with. That's been great, fantastic. We just had um, oh, Jay, uh, who I'm a huge fan. Oh, man. Oh, that's he's, awesome. I he's responsible for so much of my la- so much laughter in my life. Countless hours of laughter. I owe it to that man. Um, is he directing that episode because maybe there's more comedy in, a, in that one? Than you know, the I don't think so. But, you know, I think what it is, I think they try to find directors that are grounded, you know, that have, that like do great material, that do great work, but also understand, have a sense of humor, you know. Tim Busfield was another one who was amazing. Like, I mean, he's, you know, he's one of my favorites for sure. You know, he just, he just brought out so much subtle moment in subtle moments he brought out like subtle humor something that we would I wouldn't even have thought of you know that's so small but it makes all the difference when you watch it you get like a nice little chuckle out of it you know is there anything you picked up from any of these guys because like you're a relatively new actor Super that new, yeah. like tactics that they've yeah. come up with that have stuck with you that you uh, might no, take on to future no projects question. no question um don't try to be funny right <laughs> the more you try to be funny the less funny it is the more you not try to be funny the funnier it is 